So let me get my glossy, my Liquitex glossy out. And we're gonna put a stripe on this Raiders helmet here. Now I gotta hold, I gotta situate myself so that I can keep the figure in the camera, but at the same time, not mess up this stripe. So I need you guys to bear with me while I do this. All right, so I'm gonna keep my brush in the middle. Now you wanna do a little bit at a time. And you see how the stripe is coming onto the helmet? It's slightly off because my hands are out of position. You know, when I, that, that's, that's another reason why you wanna practice your painting because you gotta learn where your hands are, where, where, where to put your hands so you can get the best stroke possible. But again, you know, like I said, for this video, I gotta situate my hands so you can see me, right? And as a result, my hands are a bit off. So this, this stripe is not as, it's not as clean as it could be, but you get the idea. You see, it's, it's off center a little bit. See, normally I would be closer up. My, I pretty much would have the figure up to my face almost. My hands would be like really tight to, on the brush like this. And I would be holding the figure itself. I wouldn't be holding it with this clamp right here. See, so using this clamp is what's making it, is, is making it possible for me to keep the figure in the frame. Okay? So now, I got a stripe on the helmet. You get the idea, right? I want to show you this paint right here. This paint is by Craft Smart, and this is called Mediterranean Blue. Now, if you, let's say you wanted to paint the Rams. You wanted to paint Kurt Warner's Rams. This would be the color I would use on the jersey, right? And the helmet is a darker blue. I have here Apple Barrel True Blue. Let's get this out. This paint could use it on the helmet. I think when this paint dries, it dries darker than what it, than what you see in the cap. But it's two different blues if you look at that uniform. So if you were new to painting and you wanted to paint a team that has, you know, some obscure colors. You know, you may find yourself, you know, trying a couple of paints to get that right color. Now that we've done the stripe on the helmet, I'm going to take this time to, to correct the stripe that was done here. Remember how I said the stripe was a bit off? So we're going to clean that up real quick. Here's our razor blade. Now the paint is dry all over the figure. But we want to fix that stripe. So I'm going to take my razor blade and I'm going to lightly pick at the paint. This takes a little longer to scrape off this paint sometimes. And what you don't want to do, you don't want to scrape so hard that you scratch the plastic. Now some paints, like this Liquitex, it comes off almost like a peeling back skin sometimes. You see there, back of the helmet. paint's coming off so you can either use your razor blade to pick off the paint that you don't want or we can simply 
take our silver paint that we used before to, to make the helmet, right? You, or you can just paint over top of the uh, over top of the black stripe. And it, it, I don't mind doing that because it's only a small area, it's a small amount. Because remember I said earlier in the refurb video about putting layers of paint on a figure. It's okay to do it, but in small areas. So I left this little bit of black paint on the front of the helmet to show you that we can cover it with paint. And I scraped off the back of the helmet to show you the razor blade. So at the end of the day, you're gonna have to use, you're gonna have to paint this area again after scraping it. So we're gonna do that now. Take our silver paint, and we're gonna go back over the area that we use the razor blade on, and we're gonna cover the silver. Now remember, we did the jersey, right? So you want to be careful not to get any of the silver on the jersey. If you do, then of course you know you got to go back and get your black paint and fix that area. Now sometimes when you use your razor blade on a, on a, on a particular area, it may leave a little a little uh, bump in the area and when you go to repaint that area you'll see the, the, the place where you scraped at because you'll uh, the paint you left on there will create a little ridge so you may have to add a little more paint to that area so you have to go by eye so if you can see the camera can't quite pick it up but there's a little ridge in there where I scraped that so but at any rate we covered that black We're gonna clean off our brush here. <clears throat> so we're gonna let that silver dry. Meanwhile, meantime, we're going to apply our black stripe to the pants leg and the same thing applies there if you make a mistake you get your razor blade or you take your colored paint and paint over the area where the mistake was made at I'm using the same brush. I dip this brush in the paint, in the paint, in the uh, brush cleaner. And I wipe it off on my paper towel. Wipe off the excess. It comes clean. I haven't even put any water on this, on this brush. And none of the black is showing up. Get our cap with some paint in it. Because we don't need much paint, especially to do the stripe. And we don't need to put much uh, paint on the brush. <clears throat> so before I start the stripe, I like to just touch the area on the figure here and just get a, a line started and then I build up the line 
as I get the uh, line on the pants, I build it out. See, there's the initial part of that uh, of that stripe. Now the Raiders, their uniform is a that black stripe is rather thin. It's not broad, so you wanna if you wanna stay true. If you want to be as close to the real uniform as possible, you want to try and keep the uh, the integrity of this stripe thin. See, unlike the unlike the stripe on the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers pants, which is very broad. See, you don't want that. Or you can, like I said earlier, you can decal. Get some decals done for yourself and lay that on the figure. And then that will take care of your striping issue. But this video is about hand painting your figure. That stripe is okay for my hand placement on the camera so then we're going to go to the other side and do the other leg but for this video we're going to go right to the sock top right here so what I like to do I wait for my silver pants I wait for the pants to dry then I do the stripe and because the sock top is the same color as the stripe, I can't, I don't have to wait for that black stripe to dry. I can go right into painting the sock top since it's the same color as the stripe. Now if you look, if you look at your figure close enough, especially around the calf area, you'll see a little ridge that outlines where the socks may be at. That gives you some idea of how high or how low to go with your, uh, your sock tops. See, painting at the end, you know, painting is all about what you see and your opinion about how, how, how a particular figure should look. So this is no, there's no set way to paint your figure. It's all a matter of, uh, of uh, one's opinion. Okay, let me. Now even with my sock, I like to touch a little bit before I start actually brushing. I can keep my hands here situated so you can see where I'm going. Because again, you know, for the camera, I have to position my hands. Okay. Be careful not to go too far down because I want to keep some of that white on the ankle. Now you see how the sock top is blending? See how it's blending with the pants. The black stripe is not, it's not complete. But you see where I'm going with it, right? Now the, the same thing I'm doing on, on this leg, you would do it on the right leg. And remember, we still gotta do the stripe again on the helmet, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit more on this sock. I didn't do the inside of the leg for, the, for this video. I'm just only gonna stick to the outside of the leg. 
on the side. Okay. That radar is coming to life. Let me freshen up this paint, you know, because as the paint sits out in the cap, it'll dry a little bit on you. I'm going to freshen it up a little bit. Let's uh, clean off our brush. And from time to time, although you're painting with the same color, you want to um, take the excess, excess of paint off the brush because paint will eventually build up in the build up in the heads and in, in the um, the hairs and then it will it will eventually have an effect on small areas like stripes and uh, sock tops so we're not gonna do the other leg I think you got the idea you got the gist of what I'm doing here with the uh, with one of these legs already right okay so I'm gonna do I'm gonna put this black stripe on the helmet and that'll be it remember we had to redo that stripe on the helmet so got a little bit of paint on my brush here touch a little bit Let me go all the way to the front of the helmet And if you slip a little bit, like I just did again, you will, your stripe might not come out as straight. But again, you see it, right? This is an Oakland Raider. The symbol on the helmet, again, you can either decal it. Or you can paint some type of uh, shape on the helmet, like maybe a, uh, a triangle of some sort, and then put a white dot in the middle to represent the Raider with the patch. You see, there are decals that we, speaking of decals again, there are decals you can get that has exactly this emblem you can make that you can make that image so I showed you here with this uh, customized Marcus Allen figure there's the uh, the decal there on the helmet and like I said earlier the numbers the stripe are all decals the symbol on the shoes decal so there you have it we just painted ourselves an Oakland Raider and now you can try hopefully you'll uh, you'll get better at trying to paint I won't say trying, but you'll get better at painting. And then you'll be able to move on to other teams. Good luck. Thanks for watching.